Hey folks, how are you doing? Welcome to The Gifted Hermit if you are new to the channel. Hello, my name is Leela. I reside in London and I'm also a Virgo. So shouts out to you. I have shuffled and cut the deck. Six of Cups, what was the question? What was the question that I asked Tarot? And that was, who's thinking about you? Six of Cups, someone from the past, Virgo. Could be a water sign. Remember, this is a general reading. Not gonna resonate 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 with everybody okay so only take what does and whatever doesn't just throw it away okay six of cups someone from the past maybe someone this person is thinking of you this person could be a water sign this person is still attached to you emotionally they could they could display some childish tendencies they could be emotionally not grown right uh there could be some energy where this person has not had a great childhood you couldn't have had it you may not have had a great childhood maybe you guys related in some aspects there but six of cups whoever's thinking of you generally speaking is someone that you already know virgs all right so give us two more cards about who's thinking about virgo give us two more cards who's thinking of virgo hmm the knight of swords so this could be somebody i mean what i get is somebody that is quite hasty in energy someone that i don't know you know sometimes in life no sexual preference people sell you a dream they say they love you or they say they're going to be there for you or they want to be there for you that hasty energy and then they just disappear in a sense what i get here is someone that says one thing and does another i also feel like this person could be watching you on social media this person could be watching you in general um, looking at a picture of you there's definitely thinking about you overthinking about you in a sense that's what i get very hasty energy as well someone that's quick uh sometimes doesn't think you know you see how this hour is just diving into the unknown so i do pick up on i don't know someone that perhaps thought that they could save the day Some people sell us a dream in life. Give us one more card about the person that is thinking of Virgo. Right, look, four of swords. So, I mean, I definitely pick up on this energy of no contact for the majority of you. The four of swords, this person needs to rest their mind. They're, they're sitting there evaluating, evaluating stuff that's happened. Okay, they just sit, look three of swords on the bottom of the deck and it's in the reverse position so this person stuck in their sadness unable to get over a situation right but, but we're gonna move on we're gonna move on we're gonna move on so who is it <clears throat> so we picked up on who is it that's thinking about you now some card came out there you know uh, it could be someone that generally you made them really happy when communication was good it was good <clears throat> i want to talk about who is it that truly loves virgo wow five of cups in the reverse position so currently whoever loves you is quite pessimistic maybe they're crying over spilt milk you know generally speaking they probably lost you virgo this is someone that is quite negative this is someone that is shed tears you know again cancer pisces scorpio energy it's a negative they've got a negative mindset in some area maybe they think oh virgo is over me virgo doesn't love me anymore the five of cups also and i think that these people are connected i think this is the same person for some of you because the five of cups is again someone that is not letting go not letting go of past trauma when we don't let go of past trauma it does affect our relationships if we don't um sort out the core of our issues our inner child stuff that's happened from the past whether we need to have therapy talk about it let it go this person's unable to in fact they could be quite jaded and they still need to do a lot of deep shadow work they this energy allows old stories to become part of them give me some more about the person that loves virgo ten of cups again there's this energy of crying i promise you and i get this energy of 
when I say crying, I mean this person has shed tears, whether in front of you or not. And you made them happy, this person. You, there was emotional, satisfac emotional satisfaction here. When they're around you or when they were around you, it felt like home because you got a lot of love to give. There was a soulmate connection here, or at least this person that loves you feels there is a soulmate energy here when it comes to you. They felt whole. They felt that this connection was divine. And realistically, they still love you. Maybe they thought that they'd have a family with you. They'd be with you forever. Give me one more card about this person that truly loves Virgo. Here we go. The devil card. I feel like you've released them. You know, this could have been codependent. This person probably got some sort of obsession over you. You could have been uh, dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe the month, the end of December and January has some sort of significance with regards to this love reading for you, Virgo. I do pick up on that, okay? This person could be dealing with addictions, right? Whether it be money, sex, uh, food, gambling. There's something unhealthy there. And I feel like a lot of Virgos, you've you've realistically, it could be sex as well. Some people are addicted to sex. I feel realistically, I think you guys have let this person go. So we've talked about thinking, we've talked about love. Now I want to know who wants Virgo. Who is it that currently wants Virgo? Who's wanting Virgo? Ha! Huh. Three of Cups. Whoever's wanting you could probably have somebody else. Whoever's wanting you, maybe you're unable to see eye to eye. They find it hard to communicate to you, all right? Maybe you've been in disputes with this person. Whoever wants you is definitely energy. I feel like you know them already. They need to see the value that they brought to this connection, okay? They want to make amends with you. When we get the three of cups, whoever wants you wants to make amends with you. So again, this could be the same energy, right? Uh... They could have had you in a love triangle. Maybe they're feeling left out. This person that wants you. You're not giving them attention. You're not giving them, yeah, the attention that, they, that they're wanting, right? They're so attracted to you. This person that wants you, mother of wands, they find you very attractive. They find you very powerful. Queen, queen energy. you got so much love to give. Uh, it's almost like uh, you seduce them without even seducing them, Virgo. You have a confidence, you have an energy about you that they cannot resist. If they hear your name, it might be a trigger for them. Wow. I love the Queen of Wands. You know, she's got so much love to give. And I think you guys have as well. They find you um, quite bold and expressive. Like you're not, you don't butter shit up. And maybe they've got some sort of determination to keep you around their energy. Whichever way it it needs to be, they will do anything to keep, yeah. I fucking knew it. Sorry to swear. Two of cups in the reverse position. You know, they're dependent on you. Whether you know that, you could be dependent on them. But again, disharmony, miscommunication. This person that wants you, there's something's just not quite right. Maybe they're, they're blocking their emotions. Maybe you're blocking your emotions. This person that wants you, <clears throat> you know, it could be, you guys could be kindred spirits. However, someone is not open to receiving love. Perhaps you're in separation. Healing from past traumas also comes out with the two of cups reversed. This union has been disrupted in some way or another. All right. And uh, yeah somebody's not happy so tell me anything more that virgo needs to know with regards to love what are the messages for virgo ten of swords in the reverse position here we go i really feel like this hopefully it's not you virgo i really feel like this is your other person and they don't want this to come to an end they will do whatever it, it takes to keep you in their life in some aspects or another okay maybe Maybe um, 
they're recovering from something okay because i feel like this person is hitting or has hit rock bottom they and it's, it's so funny how it's under the five of cups because the ten of swords in the reverse position is negative emotions you know and uh i don't think it's your energy at all they're not wanting to let go of emotional negative emotions here in some way or another anything else with regards to love for virgo Ugh. the nine of pentacles i feel like this is you you know this is for a lot of single virgos becoming much more independent making yourself finding your happiness I feel like this person, there's a person here that's working really hard and I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's both of you in a sense. Sometimes we just work really hard so we don't have to <clears throat> think so much. But again, there's someone's feeling blocked by indecision. Someone is in fear of making the wrong choice, right? And there's an overwhelming feeling of emotions here. And this person is indecisive. It's almost like stuck in a warp. Could be your energy, but I really feel like it's your person. Someone is in fear of making the wrong choice, right? Anything else for Virgo with regards to love? This person was or has been mean to you in some way or the other and again they're unable to let you go i also pick up on dramatic people like drama like oh like chill the fuck out it's it's not a turn on for us <laughs> this person is still clinging to the past in fear of change you know there's forces of destruction uh, they've lost they've lost hope you know they're mourning the loss of you for some of them right oh well what can you do so actually, I'm going to ask what's coming towards Virgo in love. What is coming towards the Virgos in love? What's coming towards the Virgos in love? Two of Wands, someone may be coming to visit you. What is coming towards Virgo in love? Mother of Cups, love it. Self-love. Self-love is the best love. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming towards some of you guys, all right? Um, but I definitely feel like an understanding it could be that someone's coming towards you that understands you. Justice card in the upright position. Libra energy. Okay. So the end of September, October, love could be coming into you. I feel like it could be a Libra that's coming into you. But justice is going to be served with regards to your love life. You know, this is good karma. This came out in the upright position. This is equality. So it could be that the next person that comes towards you treats you fairly loves you just as much as you love them you know understands you just as much as you understand them this is someone that's fair this is someone that is cl clever intelligent uses their integrity ace of wands nice so there's, there's definitely an energy of a new connection coming in something new all right something 50 50 something that's exciting something that's adventurous Mm -hmm. I don't feel like some of you are not in communication with this person yet it's coming towards you it's like you're unaware of it this one's going to come out of the blue that's what I get here someone's going to like really adore you for how much love you got to give that's what they love about you that's what they're going to love about you it really excites them the magician card again fresh energy here could be Gemini for some of you guys although you know I don't want to be the one to judge, but I feel like a Virgo and Gemini connection is not the best for long-term relationships, okay? The Magician card is potential, talented. It could be that someone's coming towards you that's talented. It could be that the communication is going to be good. It could be that you're actually manifesting this person and they're manifesting you, right? So I just want to just quickly point out the months that love could come in for you guys, all right? And that is the month of the end of May, June. Then we also have the end of September, October. And again, the warmer months, like summer months, that's what I've got here. And I'll be the one to tell you, don't be jumping in bed with nobody. 
take time, you know. What's meant for you will always be for you. You don't want just like a summer hookup because it happens so much. You know, people change as the seasons change. And you're like, huh, wait a minute. Someone could be coming back from the past as well. Scorpio energy here. Someone could be coming to a realization that it's you that they want, whether you know this person or not. So just be mindful, okay? I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'm going to get you some angel cards. Please remember that you can book me, Virgo, for a personal reading. You can catch me for live tarot. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. There's a WhatsApp number there. It's a paid service if you want me to do a reading for you. But if it's not a reading you're looking for and you just want to reach out to somebody, then that's totally, totally fine. You can talk and connect with me. Listen to your intuition, Virgo. Have patience and consider carefully what you want before acting. Mm -hmm. Anything else for Virgo? High Priestess, she don't mess around. Virgo, any more messages for Virgo, please, Spirit? Nine of Pentacles, boom. Enjoying life's little luxuries. Spending quiet time alone. Successful self-employment. And there's a big energy for 2022 for a lot of Virgos when it comes to their career. You guys are not messing about. There's a newfound sense of independence. This is gratitude. Gratitude is the attitude. Enjoying life's little luxuries. It's the little things that make you smile, right? So good for you. One more card for Virgo, please. One more card for Virgo. Advice for Virgo, message for Virgo. Hmm. Virgo. Be very mindful of the people that come towards you. Anything else for Virgo? indication this is for you wow the hermit god there you go spending time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching and self-discovery like you're learning a lot about yourself about the world about others you are more wiser there's an awakening here spiritual teaching remember virgo your ruling planet is mercury mercury is the messenger of gods what you say really sticks with people in a good way spiritual teaching i love that energy here people really do listen to what you say whether you think it or not discovering a lot about yourself aren't you my darlings i hope you enjoyed that reading i'm out of here be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and i'll catch you on the rebound take care folks.